hello. Uh, this is update number 17, I think. Uh, you'll find the title of the video tells you. I don't know. I haven't kept track. Um, but yeah, um, today's Wednesday, so this video is a little late. Um, but I just, I've just had so much going on lately. I have been exhausted. Um, I worked seven hours Thursday, seven hours Friday, worked a double Saturday, so that's 12 hours, and then I worked six hours Sunday and nine and a half hours Monday. Um, so it was very, I worked a lot. I think the whole weekend, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I think along with Monday, I think I worked like 35 hours, which is a lot to work all at one time. I, and I know like those of you out there that have full-time jobs are like, oh, that's normal to, you know, work 30, 35 hours in like three or four days, but it, I'm not used to it, <laughs> um, you know, and you have to remember I work at a mall, so the weekend is always going to be the busiest, and that was when I was working the most, um, and, um, I pulled the double on the busiest day. So it was just, it was a lot, and I was very, very exhausted. Um, and on Tuesday I had my appointment, but I didn't film this video after my appointment yesterday because I had, um, I was hoping a friend of mine, Charisma, you guys know her, with um, a French project. So I went to go help her with that. So I didn't really have a lot of time to film. Uh, so yeah, I was just planning on filming today. <laughs> um, today was a very productive day. Um, it's like bittersweet, uh, but I'll explain that to you in a second. But at, uh, okay, so I guess yesterday's appointment kind of ties into the story today. Um, so yesterday at my appointment, I told my counselor that I was going on a date today my first date since my last breakup, so I was really excited, but I was also really nervous, and, uh, we kind of talked about, you know, what kind of, like, what in, in anxiety brain was making me nervous about it, and my mind just automatically goes to breakup, like, it doesn't go like, oh, this first date won't go well, or, you know, we'll go on a couple dates and then realize we don't click, it goes straight to, what if we get in a relationship and then we break up and I get hurt again. So I, <laughs> that seems to be pattern with me. I think way too far ahead and no matter how hard I try to rationalize things, those thoughts keep like pushing themselves forward instead of staying like in the back and not, you know, affecting my life. Um, so yeah, we talked about that pretty much the whole time and like, worst, like, biggest catastrophe that could happen on a first date, like, honestly, like, what is that, um, and for me, it was that it goes really awful, and it's really awkward, or it's, like, just really, really bad, not that I'm saying that it would be, but, you know, just, like, thinking of the worst case scenario, and then we talked about on a scale of one to end of the world, where does that fall? Yeah, one bad date. Uh, you know, that's not super high on the list of things that could, that could go wrong in your life. Um, relative to everything else. So that kind of made me feel a little better. And then also, what kind of made me feel a little better is, you know, that's what dating is for. Sometimes you go on one date with a person, and it's great, but you just don't click like that. Just enjoy your date. Like, you don't have to put, like, any expectations or any pressure on it um, for anything more. If something happens, great, but if something else doesn't happen, then, oh well, you know? That's what dating is for, and it's, you know, just, you have one date with him, okay. Um... But, yeah, so that's, um, 
that kind of leads into why my day was so productive today. I got up early, I worked out, I took a shower, I... Charisma was supposed to come over and help me do my makeup because she's way better at it than I am. Um, so she's going to come help me. But then she went home sick. So I was like, okay, well I'm not completely incompetent at makeup. I can do my own. Uh, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but I hadn't heard from him all day today or half of yesterday. Uh, I didn't hear from him at all last night. And I didn't hear from him at all today until like an hour or so ago. Um, and I asked him, I asked, uh, we're still on for tonight, right? And then a, he didn't text me back right away, but about half an hour, 45 minutes later, he texted me back and said, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I had a family emergency. Um, like he told me specifically what the family emergency is, but I'm not going to say it on here. But he, uh, he had a huge family emergency and really needed to cancel because one of his family members is in the hospital and so of course it was like no like go be with that person we'll just plan for another time like it's totally okay you know I'm hoping that this person is gonna be okay in the end and I told him to keep me updated and he said he would um, so uh, the date tonight is not happening but like like I said, it's a very understandable reason why it's not happening. Um, so, yeah, that's just kind of what all has been going on in my life. Just work and my appointment and my date that will be coming up soon. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I know this vlog was, like, really short, but... Uh, I, <laughs> literally all I did was just work this week. So, uh, maybe next week will be more exciting. Hopefully. <laughs> I kind of take it as a good sign that I'm not saying, that I'm not, like, filming vlogs and saying, oh, I was super anxious today, or I was super depressed today, or I was really worried and a panic attack. I think that's a good sign, that I'm kind of stabling out a little bit after taking my medicine and going to counseling regularly for a couple months now. So, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for listening, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.